Hello viewers. In this video, you will learn how to make fillable form. And add, submit button, to it, so that you can get the response, through email. You can see the event survey form, on the screen. We will add, few fields to take the opinion of the visitor. Take the cursor to the above area, and right click. Enable, customize ribbon option. A list will open. Select, developer. You can see now, the developer option is appearing at the top with several controls. These controls are used to design any form. Now let us use, checkbox control. After selecting checkbox, set its properties. We are using, tick mark, rather than, cross symbol. You can insert, title and tag as well, if you want to write a program. For the time being, we are not using them. We also do the same in the next, row of table. Now format the table, and place, yes and no, against these check boxes. Now remove the borders of the table. Now let us make another fillable table. The table is self-explanatory. You may design any form you like. Again, we use check boxes and change its symbol from cross to tick in the property. We complete the box. After this table, let us add combo box control. Through this option, we can create a drop-down list of choices. This displays, choose an item first, we change its, font and size, to keep the consistency with the rest of the form. We use the font, Roboto with size 14. In order to do that, we have to go into the design mode. Please follow the steps as demonstrated on the screen. We go to its properties and enter the choices, which we want to provide in the drop-down list. Drop-down list shows the options, you have set in the properties. Now let us use, other control buttons. In the table, you can see, we are asking the name of the visitor, email address and date. We will use three different controls. We will use, rich text control, to create the field for, name. We will enter into the design mode, to change its font and size like we did earlier. For email address, we want to limit the size of the text. We can do this, in legacy form, 
and using text form field. Its properties provide several controls. We enter maximum length of the field as 40 and also enter the default email address. You may keep it blank. Now for providing the field for date, we choose Date Picker Content Control. We change the font and size. We can set the desired format for date through its properties. Finally, we add the submit button. To do this, we will use ActiveX control. We select command button. When we click its properties, it is displayed on the left side. We change name and caption, as you can see. We write submit against the caption. We also change font and size for the consistency. We double click the submit button. Now we need to enter some code so that submit button can perform the desired action. A form is opened. It is actually the visual basic form where we enter the desired code. It is simple. Don't worry about that. We have to enter two lines code. Write options with O capital. When you place dot after options, a drop down menu is opened. Select send mail attach and then type equal and select true. In the next line, type active document. And after dot, select send mail. Exit from the form. You may change the color of the button in its properties, as shown. Now exit from design mode and remove the borders from the tables. You are all set. Now test your form by filling it and finally press submit button. After filling the form, press submit button. It will take you to the email client, where you can see, your survey form is automatically attached. I hope you have, understood the method. Thanks for watching.